Before we start, I'd like to shout out Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. That sounds good! going on you guys welcome back to the channel back on the beautiful v4r i know i took a while to film this video but finally doing it right now <laughs> so pretty much for today's video i mean you guys saw the title and thumbnail i'm giving you my first review and explaining why i went through so many tunes on the v4r uh let's start from the from, from the start you know my friend uh, use, uh, owns SoCal Super Bikes so initially I tuned my bike over there and well it's they use SLR which with the V4R there was a lot of issues a lot of problems I had to go there like about seven to eight different times to keep fixing the tune because every time it had like a problem or an issue it just wasn't right you know what I mean like the bike wasn't running good so at the end of the day it was resolved but we initially put it on the dyno and you guys if you haven't seen that video make sure to check it out like this bike looks and sounds amazing on the dyno shooting big flames but yeah uh, so we put on the dyno tuned it and that's when it was having the misfires the idling issues all of that then after that the guy that does the tuning did about like literally like maybe five different adjustments and different days because every time he adjusts it some other problem pops up or it's not fixed and by the end of it when i rode the bike i don't know if it was just me getting used to it or not it just didn't feel as good pretty much as when we first got it tuned and i had those problems power wise so I don't know I just wasn't like very sure about the bike was running good it definitely felt like like not not bad you know what I mean like it didn't feel amazing though and I just didn't feel very right about it especially because I spent a lot of money uh, tuning it so shout out to brand tuning because they reached out and they told me that like a b c d those are the problems that like SLR is doing with your bike so uh, how about you try out our tune and if you don't like it you can go back they were that confident and honestly like they got my attention with that because you know like I'm like why not I had my doubts but like initially I didn't want to do that because I'm friends with the owner of SoCal Super Bikes but also if you guys haven't seen that video I got into a fight with uh, the manager or whoever over there uh, and I pretty much don't go there anymore so at that point I was like you know what I'm gonna take that tune from uh, Bren and even though I spent a lot of money time and effort into getting this bike tuned with uh, SLR I was like I want to redo it just to you know uh, see how it feels and compare I didn't kind of want to like rely on them just because of I mean them having to do so many different like variations of the tune and adjustments just to me seemed like they didn't know what they were doing to be honest like it just didn't seem professional and uh he kind of like you know made me not trust the tune as much so that's why i decided to take their offer and get the bike retuned again with brent uh now the bike has been tuned my initial response i remember from like when i first got on the bike is that 
it was more responsive right from the start as soon as i got on it literally like leaving the house complex the bike definitely felt more responsive the throttle felt more responsive and i noticed that the bike is idling better too so power wise i would love to put the bike on the dyno just to see how much it's making right now with the brent tune also the good thing about them is that like again as as i said before it took me like seven to eight different trips to get this bike tuned with slr with brent tuning i did this and the s1000rr both in one day so like we went through a couple hiccups but they they were like okay it's this one it's this and we'll fix it up like right away same day so like that tells me that like okay they know what they're talking about because they could pinpoint and figure out the issue right away it's not like they have to go back and forth and play around and stuff like that you know so got the bike dialed in the bike is running good right now uh, but obviously like I will never like tell you guys something that's not true so I always try to be as honest and as as I'm pretty sure this light doesn't sense my bike and as straightforward as possible and uh, pretty much this tune definitely feels way faster up top because like it definitely feels more powerful up top as soon as I pass like eight nine thousand rpms the bike just picks up like crazy and the bike definitely feels smoother it's more of a linear power curve and the throttle is more responsive down low still though from I believe like under down the rpms until like about seven thousand rpms i can see that like i have to give a little bit more throttle and as soon as it passes those like in that like more higher range uh like nine plus the bike starts picking up way faster i don't know if that's like their way of tuning it to make the bike more manageable or anything like that but that's the only thing that like kind of stood out to me that i would like to be kind of like aggressive throughout even though that's not necessarily the best way that just like feels better to me you know what i mean but i can also contact them and probably have them work on that that's the nice thing about it they give you a handheld which is super easy to use and it's not complicated at all and it to in, in my opinion it makes sense just because like i'll show you guys right now the bike comes up like so easily so it makes sense to not make it as aggressive uh down low in the rpm but you know just being completely transparent and honest with everyone that's exactly how the bike feels is wild so let me like re-explain that part when i said like lower in the rpm it doesn't feel as responsive that's only when i'm cruising when i'm gonna get like this the power is smooth and linear but let me give you this example right here so now say we're cruising i'm giving this much throttle look i'm not gonna change the throttle and as soon as the bike passes like now see how it starts like to pick up more i'm not giving it more throttle so when i'm cruising when i'm going slow i feel that slightly and it's mainly when you're like not in your power band but once you're like lower in the rpm once you're i mean uh in lower gears and you're gunning it it's not like that at all it's such a smooth power curve and like honestly like i love it the bike comes up super easily so now that i'm thinking about it like after riding it like this because i've been cruising most of the time i'm never going hard on this bike just because you guys saw how fast this bike is 
like a bike is super fast super aggressive so it's almost like there's no need for me to kind of like go hard on it all the time just because of how intense the bike is so most of the time i'm cruising even though if i'm, I'm cruising at like higher speeds for this bike like that's cruising you know what i mean like if you're on a 300 and you're doing uh 80 miles an hour you're not cruising you're mobbing because that bike what tops out at like 110 but on a bike like this where it can d do like 100 miles per hour pretty much in first gear you know these speeds are cruising and like you don't you never need to go i never need to go to the 16 5 000 rpm that's just like too high I love it. Honestly, this is that like best tune I've ever had. Best in a way where it's like it's complete, you know. What I mean, there's no hiccups, the bike is running good, it's running smooth. I feel confident in that like this tune is good for my engine too, you know. Like that's initially and mainly why I wanted to switch uh, from SLR just because I, I wasn't confident in that tune. At the end of the day, the first map that they put on this bike when I raced max wrist, the bike made 195 horsepower to the wheel. That's so low for this bike and we figured out why. It's because they put a base map V4 in a V4R. Like how? That's a complete different engine, you know what I mean? Something that like, I just didn't trust it, you know what I mean? Just because they did such a rookie mistake on such an expensive uh, bike from the start. Even though I spent a lot of money on that tune, so. I got it redone and I'm so glad I did because initially I was supposed to just do the uh, S1000RR and the RSV4 Aprilia and then I was like you know what since you guys offered me previously a tune on this bike I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna see the difference and I'm so glad I did because now it feels right and now even though my R1M is running fairly good like the bike it runs good I'm actually debating also switching the tune of that bike too just because i don't know i feel like the knowledge and everything they did with this bike and working with them seeing how they work really meant uh, a lot to me and it like they gained my trust pretty much because i really trusted their work and what they were doing and they were and what they were telling me they were explaining to me as they go like oh, it's this it's that uh so like that's all very informative and really good stuff and yeah, I don't know what else to say, but besides like honestly thanking them uh, and honestly, I just want to share my experience with you guys. Oh, she sounds good too. Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> dude is on the phone. He's like, never mind, let me go inside. Hello, my friend. Oh, my clutch. It's okay. I like riding with it broken. <laughs> Damn, look at my clutch fluid. That's looking dark in comparison to the brake. I'm telling you, something is. Huh? Don't you have those? Yeah, the reservoirs? Yeah, yeah uh, the, we're just waiting on a ring nut tool oh, at yeah, the shop. Yeah, so do it all together. But it's just interesting to me that that is way darker than this. I'm telling you, something's up with my clutch. My clutch release is like is way too far. It, it is broken. You are right. <laughs> but yeah, my clutch release is like too far. Out. and so I feel like I'm over revving when I go just because it feels like different but it's hydraulics so I don't know how to adjust it if you can adjust it at all I don't think you can like no no don't, don't play with that <laughs> that just adjust yeah that just the lever but I want the release itself so I know I can make it like closer and then it'll change it but then it'll be too spongy which I don't like I mean, maybe try to bleed it when uh, Jason changes it try to bleed it might have a little bit of air in there uh i don't know i, I would i would feel it if it has air it just feels like like it's it's all grabbing all the way to like right at the top which it wasn't like this before that's why it's confusing it only became like that like when i swapped the so I, don't, I don't know yeah i don't know it just sounds so crazy right now. the ferrari started up yeah, get the key. Let's give the people a show. Look at that, guys. 
my seat. I know you guys saw it previously, but in case you missed any of those videos, now you know. We have a, a beautiful seat. We have the new gas cap. And mainly, look at this piece. The entire piece is carbon fiber, but I had it painted just so, you know, there's some red. Because from my last V4S, the full carbon V4S, the bike was all carbon fiber. And it kind of, you can't tell what it is, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have flair. I wanted to keep some Ducati in it, you know, the Ducati red. So we did a super Legera design on it just without the white lines on the super Legera on the side so we kept all of this exposed carbon and this exposed carbon and then all this rest is painted I wonder if I did like a little bit more carbon like now it looks clean but you know it's not crazy enough but I know why I did that I'm like contradicting myself because this is the only piece on the bike right now that is not carbon fiber the bike is pretty much full carbon fiber besides that and why I haven't gotten the belly in carbon fiber yet and why it looks off is because I'm actually waiting for the new design of the V4. So the 2022 bellies with the extra vents, I'm waiting for that to come in carbon. I already checked. I think it's compatible. So I'm going to put that new design on this one. And then the bike will look complete. On your headlights? Yeah, because you kick a shit on the rocks. I know I do. <laughs> I know I did. Look at the tire, dude. I wasn't even trying to go fast and it just got shredded. Every time I behind this bike, because the other bikes I got <laughs> That's true. You did get the RSV4, but wait until it's tuned. Wait until I at least get an exhaust. Yeah, that That'll change it. You need to hear it now. I should have brought it. Yeah. With the valves open, bro, even the startup is nice. That bike sounds good. I'm definitely keeping that exhaust. But nothing compares to this, besides the H2. I mean... I mean. I don't want to drive it because I, I just pay for my speeding ticket. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind going on a ride but in this. It sounds so much different now. Yeah. <laughs> Before it was just loud. Now it has, the, like, it has a nice tone. And, like, noise. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. I mean, like, these, this, this combo is nice. I'm not going to lie. No, I put that on. I got to buy mine. Yeah, radio guard. I bought one for the RSV4 and it's... How are you doing? <laughs> You already know Hi. the pretty lady right here. <laughs> Check out the IG. How loud is it? Do I do should I stand further? Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'm wearing a helmet. I should be fine. Oh, it has valves? It sounds nice. It sounds like a Formula One car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm going. Full on race. <laughs> Alright, we're doing the race car driver in the passenger seat. It's loud in here. I'm wearing a helmet and it's loud in here. It's loud. I like it though, I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's good. Oh, those shifts. Oh, the shift sounds so good. Jesus. <laughs> That sounds good. I should be like, <laughs> huh? I was like, I should be like this. <laughs> I love it, driven like it should be.
Wow, those shifts sound too good. <laughs> oh, those brakes are good. Not gonna lie, I'm a Lambo guy, but this is nice. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. I can't deny it. I like how comfortable I am. Like this seat is honestly like chill. Chill. The way it screams, I love it. V12s, baby, V12s. Oh, the shifts, I can't get over it. This thing is fast! Hey man, you just hit the top speed of my Tesla. <laughs> it's also like comfortably fast, you know what I mean? Like you don't realize how fast you're going. I didn't, I had no idea. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Dang it, man, you make me want supercars now. <laughs> This'll do it. It really reminds me of the Ducati though. Oh, the sound? The, no, no, not the sound, just like the finish. Like oh, it's yeah. such a premium finish. They use the same carbon. So most companies use like the twill. Yeah. They use the plane, just like the Ducati. Like the red, obviously Italians. So it's, it's a special car. Oh. I was telling him I'm a Lambo guy, but I like this. This is actually, wow. Yeah, just the, the entire feel. Dude, that speed was loud. It was a cool car, but this is just different. Just this is, classy. yeah, it's refined. And we should all go go karting. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, I'm down. Yeah. We used to go. We used yeah. to go like, we'll do it. I'll do it this week. Bet I'm down. We take all of our vehicles. So like, we come in uh, like bikes, cars, whatever. And then that that be next up, next video. I pick up a new GT3 uh, tomorrow. Oh. Uh, maybe I'll stop by tomorrow too. <laughs> well, this was fun. You got some V4R content, some Ferrari content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, share, and support. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out and ride safe. And let me know if in the comments if you guys want more of this type of vlogs and stuff like that. All right. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website, connect with your audience, and generate revenue through gated members-only content, where you can manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insight all on one easy-to-use platform. You can create a community, use their powerful blogging tools, and display posts from your social profiles. So go to squarespace.com slash amk to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you. Peace out and ride safe.